<sighs> Afternoon. Oh, I finally got to sleep in after all that goddamn homework and the onslaught of final exams. And I'm feeling great. Let's see what the weather brought us last night. Oh. Winter has always been a super interesting time of the year, at least from where I've been living. Sometimes we'll get a metric buttload of snow all over the place constantly, sometimes we'll get absolutely nothing at all, and sometimes we'll get nothing right until the very second December rears its ugly head, and then it all goes away again. Then it comes back worse than before. Can you guess which one happened this year? I've been spending so much time working on college projects this year that I've been kind of sheltered from everything else. Well, I've still been working on videos and TF2 maps in my spare time, sure. But it's still been a long time since I've actually been involved in anything else. One thing's for sure, though. It's Christmas season, and that means it's time to build a gingerbread house. For some strange reason, I just can't bring myself to not build a gingerbread house every year. It's such a small thing, but it's quite a memorable part of the holidays. So, I got in my car, headed over to the store, picked up a kit, drove home, and I got to work. It seems like the type of gingerbread house kit I usually get got changed this year. I've complained time and time again about the roof not staying together, but this time they included a cardboard contraption to hold it in place while the icing dries. This is honestly a really good thing. I would be genuinely impressed. However, it didn't make a whole lot of difference in actual use. Now, I may have done something wrong when I was putting the house together, but it seems that the so-called easy build roof thing doesn't actually do anything. That's disappointing. Oh well, I continued to build the rest of the house while the roof stood shockingly still on its own. I added a couple candy snowflakes to the roof, added some of those candy balls around the front of the house, put some gummy trees on the sides and gumdrops on the roof, and added peppermints to the very top. Hey, wait, this one's defective! Jeez, Walmart, what gives? I was able to repair the damaged suite by using some icing, but things will never be the same. The damage was already done, and the ultimate price will be paid in time. Not much time later, though, and the house was pretty much done. I didn't bother at all with the backside, because, let's face it, who cares? Time to marvel at the house's glory. Wait a minute. I mentioned last year that I don't really care for gingerbread that much, and while that remains true, I'm still a sucker for anything sugary. The decorations I've been using are bound to be pretty good, and I've never actually tried them before, so I don't know, let's give this a shot. Uh, that's disappointing. How about a gumdrop? Oh god, a ball? A snowflake? God damn it, these candies all suck! Why in the world would anyone buy one of these gingerbread house kits if every single edible thing in them tastes like garbage? This whole thing is not just a waste of time, but a waste of money. This means war. Damn you, Walmart gingerbread house kit! Oh, we still have a couple survivors. There we go. 